Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Clan War Noobs, and I'm getting ready to bring you some epic loots, a lot of lazy farming, and um, one of my clan members said, hey, hey, I want more goat, so okay, I'm going to give him some goat. Ready, set, go! Oh, ooh, come on, Rock, come on, come on, oh, no, 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 come on, so unrealistic, goat should have totally made this Rock, come, oh, whatever. All right, let's get into the rating. Okay, first up we have our very own Zatchmo doing some, looks like lazy barching, barbarians and archers. This is um, one of my favorite farming strategies. I've kind of gotten away from using goblins just because um, it, it saves me a little time. I think uh, goblins take what, 30 seconds? to train up and barbarians only take uh, 20 so and this is uh, very efficient farming but it's only uh, for a certain kind of base and it's it, this almost seems like an abandoned base I don't even know how this guy's in the clan anymore but as you can see he's taking all this loot really fast and not spending a lot of uh, time or energy on it but it looks like he wants it all so he spends all his troops sends BK in there to try and get all of it and he almost does is he going to run out of time I think so but he only left 40 and he walked away with 700,000 so now we have Hackalite did the same thing barching it up really efficient it's really fast and I think I've said it before in other videos um, with barching um, if you could get away with not using any wall breakers which I like to bring a few just in case for you know deep seated resources um, if I could get away without using wall breakers, I can attack four times an hour, so that's really nice. And Hagalite walks away with some easy loot. Now we have me. <laughs> oh, it looks like another abandoned base, or this, I don't know. Maybe he's on vacation, maybe his device broke, but I think I was trying to gain some trophies at this point. As you can see, I was dropping some archers around to, you know, pick off the gimmies, the easy ones, if you want that 50%. So you know 10 seconds into the raid I already have all of his elixir and I didn't really spend that much but even then um, it's it's really cheap with barches but I think this is uh, it's sort of a BAM I don't know I have uh, 10 minions but I don't think I use them in this raid you might see them a little bit later and I got my 53% um, not much left here just feeling it out uh, and the minions help so I really didn't have to do this, but I was like, ah, eh, whatever. So, <laughs> drop a few minions to get the last few thousand elixir, and I walk away with 600,000. And now we have Khaled. He's a really good farmer, and he's going to try and outdo me here. So, he has 600,000 up on deck to try and get an 1100 dark elixir. So, um, he's at a point in um, Town Hall 9 where he needs a lot of dark elixir to upgrade those troops like golems and other expensive stuff so you know this was really nice for him he has a lot of giants here I'm gonna serve as a meat shield to protect his uh, significantly weaker units like the barbarians and uh, goblins which are very susceptible to mortars and wizards uh, he makes his push on the inside sends his BK in and it's taken all the fire and this is what I love about the Queen uh, just really really good at farming really helps you out farming uh, has a very good distance, a lot of damage, and he's walking away with six. Now we're back to me. I was like, oh, you know, I can't have Khaled steal the show. So, here we are with a BAM. And again, I think I was trying to push up on trophies. Um, I had dropped, because uh, for whatever reason, um, I think I had a family emergency. Um, I couldn't be in war, so I dropped my trophies, and I'm trying to bring it back up. So, you know, I sent out a couple archers here and there to... Uh, get the gimmies, get get the free buildings, so I can get an easy 50% dropping um, stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. I saw something shiny. So this is why this is a good example on why I bring wall breakers. Uh, as you can see here, I would probably run out of barbarians if uh, I, I just wanted them to beat through the wall, and that's not going to happen. They're going to get chewed up by mortars and wizard towers. And as you can see here, I, <laughs> I don't know, me and my big fat fingers, I dropped all my barbarians here. So now I'm tripping. I'm like, oh crap, how am I going to get all this? And as you can see, I have uh, five um, collectors to get. 
So that's where the minions come in. It's out of range on uh, a lot of the air over here, the air defense and wizards and archer tower. So that worked out there. Drop my nine archers left, and then the queen. Queen saves the day. That's my boo. Look at that. 600. Thank you. Thank you, boo. And then Khaled is like, nah, sorry, bruh. I can do better. So, um, I, was, I was like, man, how's he going to do this? I, I seen it in, in our in-game chat. I was like, there's no way he's going to walk away with all this. Um, just, I don't know, from his layout, but he, Khaled is a very good farmer, so he's going to make it happen. And he has his giants working his way around the base. A lot of barbarians, again, like little micro meat shields when you put them in mass like that. And I'm still watching this replay, I'm like, no way. I mean, this, this is a very good upgraded Town Hall 8 base, but again, when you got the queen and you got these level 6 giants, which as of this video, they're going to be level 7 now um, since the update. Um, he, he makes it work. Really good farmer. Drops the BK. Got two meat shields, basically. And then you got all these distractions here, which are, again, are still a little susceptible to uh, wizards and mortars, but when they're under rage next to the BK, it really helps out the raiding and the farming. So, has everything else up? And has he dropped his queen yet? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. She's at the top. I missed that. So, little, little couple cute goblins here and there. They get wiped out really quick. Wizard tower, just wiping dudes out. So, how is this raid going to end? And it's really nice. Good job, Khaled. 